What is up, and it's going guys, Simpsy here, and today for you, I have another episode of my Let's Play Isengard campaign, mod, submod, third age, total war. I always say that in like a really different, um, order, every single time, or <laughs> especially the last couple of times. <clears throat> so let's get straight and right into it. I currently have Saruman at the Old Berg, just kind of defending it. I have Ugluk, um, got his army divided into Dunharrow and Edoras. I have alerts coming up to this army here, and uh, we're actually going to do the Battle of Antwade. I normally wouldn't, but seeing as we get to test out our fire launchers and our Uruk bomb th uh, throwers for the first time, I thought that'd be kind of cool to show you guys. So, we're going to be doing that this episode, and I'll see you guys on the battle map. Okay, welcome to the battle map, guys. We have our um, fire launchers. <laughs> there they are. They don't really look too menacing for me because they're like arrows, but... We'll soon see how that develops. We have our bomb throwers just behind here. And uh, looking at um, this guy's unit, look at, he's got 223 Urukai, which is awesome. So let's get straight and right into it. We're going to get our, our um, what are they called, fire launchers. I want to see if I can get them to fire the gate. I moved my um, rams just in and around here just for the sake of it. I've got archers here. I think I might move them to attack them. So here we go, here goes the first time of our fire launchers. I do have my bomb throwers, but I really want to see what this looks like. Whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> That's fucking awesome! That would absolutely demolish a city. It's demolishing this city. Holy crap. Are these archers even doing anything? Mm, not really. Far out. It's fucking awesome. I can't wait to use them on a field battle. Christ, look at that. Oh, my neck. <laughs> Wouldn't want to get in front of them. Okay, it looks like we've run out of them. I guess we can move our bomb throwers in to see how they go against these guys. Maybe we only can use them on buildings. Okay, I don't really understand, but... Far out, this city's on fire now. I guess we'll move the bomb throwers back along with the carts and we'll move this lot of ram up to kind of just finish off the enemy <clears throat> what do you got here but the snagger troops we'll move in the euro car next I think I might even get one lot of euro car to actually take one of the rams and attack one of the flanks far out that's awesome. I really, um, I, I know it's kind of a little bit overpowered. Uh, I would imagine that's some of your guys' opinions. But I reckon that's fucking awesome to see. Even though it is overpowered, you don't get to use it in many, um, Third Age. You don't get to use it in the normal Third Age. And not many people do have this mod, sub mod, and do Let's Plays of it. There are a fair few, but, um, 
there's more people that have the normal third age than moles. So it's kind of something a little bit different. It looks kind of cool. It's fucking awesome. This city is burning. <laughs> that looks so cool. Probably just even deserves. Probably even deserves a screenshot, but. Once we batter down the road, we'll send all our Eurokai in just to finish it off. Looks like they're making a, a charge for it, but... Don't really see the point in that, but... Whatever. Get these Berserkers in here. And then we'll just leave this three lot here. Put the arch behind there. Okay, everyone's moving up. I think we can fast forward this a bit now. Two to six. Yeah, we didn't really kill too many. We just kind of destroyed the town. I don't really care too much to be quite frank I thought it was kinda worth it worth it doing that kinda something a little bit different <clears throat> it was really cool though I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna get our volunteers to flank around the other side and get them from behind but these bodyguards are still gonna put up a bit of a fight I might even move these goblins around as well. I thought we already captured... Oh no, they went out, didn't they? I'm trying to like move them so <clears throat> now we've sandwiched them pretty well now. Awesome. Oh, there goes the general. Oh, Berserker got him, I think. Enemy General Fallen. Herbrand. Herbrand. I, I think that's how you'd say it. Pronounce it. What have we got left? We got some units in reserve. We'll send them in to pick up the enrolling axemen. Perfect. How many did we lose? We lost 25% to 81. We didn't go with our best army. Um, like, um, heavy units wise. We went with a lot of snagger. But we did have these fire launches. I don't really know if the bomb throwers actually did anything. But. Hmm. I don't really know. Kind of weird. So I just make them withdraw. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, maybe they actually are withdrawing. Okay. Um. What's left? Oh, nothing really. A couple of troops left. Get the berserkers to finish them off. Cut them down. And then get everyone in there. Awesome. Men lost. 700. Yeah, that's to be expected, though. We, we did go in with a lot of goblins. We had, like, one, two, two lots of Urukai. Um, so, yeah. What did most damage? 152. Yeah, the Raiders. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, the launches... Did the launches actually kill anyone? They killed eight. But they pretty much destroyed the city. I, I didn't really matter. I just wanted to see what they actually did. 
But um, uh, they, uh, like they said in the description, they would do a lot better against units. But it's still kind of cool. Still lowers their morale. But without further ado, I'll see you guys back on the campaign map. And we've just taken the settlement. We're going to sack... Mission 6x for one gold of all thank at our capital. Okay, that's kind of cool. Just thinking whether or not so I could keep that there. That could be kind of like our general unit for the time being. <laughs> nah. I'm going to move into the Volberg. We can't move Lurts into us. But I will probably move... Oh, he hasn't got a very good... He has a very good general unit. Um, Moluk. <laughs> but he's not really loyal or anything, so. An assassin? Really? We'll build those three things. We need to build a. S yeah. I'm gonna actually move. Lag Ur. Uh, Where should I move him? Because he's... Eh, he's an alright general. I think he'd be a better governor at Edoras. And then I'll have... Ugluk, the third commander. Because we've got Saruman. And we've got... Lurts. But we do need some watchtowers, so... I guess that that's going to be the next thing we'll do. Might even build one here. Oh, Mordor has an army in there. That's interesting. Maybe they're pushed and like they're pillaging all across the coast there. Well, not really the. Yeah, it's kind of a coast, I guess. Um. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next turn. Okay, guys, welcome back. We have a candidate for adoption, Saruman, <laughs> which is uh, kind of funny, but he has a lot of respect. Um, he's got a lot of loyalty, so I'm going to adopt him, and we do have the money, so I don't see why not. Assassination mission. Ooh. Okay, where is our assassin? Whoa! Okay, where is our assassin? Assassin. We'll move him. Where was it? Okay. I think I might even have my, um... My spy go with him. Okay. Dismounted Royal Guard, they look pretty menacing. Got a watchtower there. Send him back to Edoras. Okay. Um, now, what am I going to do with you? I think I might even have him go with Lurts. Maybe look. I think I might keep him in a settlement. Antwaid. Hmm. But which? I could keep him in the Hornburg. Or I could even put him back to Isengard if I really wanted to. But he's got a really... He's got a massive general unit, so... Yeah, why not? I'm going to move him back into... Isengard. We'll move this two troops over to Aglu and we'll put Gazbag into the Hornburg. Meanwhile, we'll keep Lagher, Lord of Edoras. We'll have Saruman pushing along with. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. Okay, we'll do that mission. Um, seeing the Haradrim diplomats there, I'm actually going to negotiate alliance map for map. Oh, hang on. See if we can throw military access in there. Okay. Maybe they're not even interested now. Okay, <clears throat> we do have. Um, where's Grima? I did have him heading down there. 
to negotiate with Hiradrim, but I would believe that Diplomat's going to stay there. I might do more negotiations in the next term. So, okay, Eastmark. I think I might move this spy along the Gondor coast and see how heavily fortified they are. We do need to do repairs before I forget. And I'm trying to milk all when there's possible. Okay. Five percent. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just thinking whether or not we should attack that army or not. I think we'll just wait for the time being until we move our troops around, move our uh, our generals back around. But yeah, okay, we're moving into Rohan, and uh, we're pushing the last of them out of Rohan, obviously, which is awesome. Looking at looking at the map at the moment, I'm surprised Mordor hasn't actually taken that settlement, because they have a lot of... Yeah, what the hell? They've got like two stacks in and around here. Elric Waldberg, Marshal of the World. What? Oh, Marshal of the Wald. What the fuck? I don't know why I thought Wald. But, ugh, a bit tired. <laughs> What's the percent? 7%. I don't see why we can't do it, though. Have a crack, why not? Okay. Let's negotiate with the Haradrim again. I accept. You would speak of something more? No. I must decline you here. Hmm. Okay. I'm cool with just an alliance. Maybe once their relationships are improved, they might be a little bit easier giving us map information for map information. But hey. Okay, we have Gazbag going into the hall. Well, should, or should I have... Mag look into the Hornberg. Yeah, I think I've changed my mind. And I'll put Gazbag into Isengard. Because he is trusted. And uh, that'll be the last thing we need. Is bloody the Hornberg or Isengard to revolt. Even though they probably wouldn't. But just simply because of that general being in there. They might, I don't know, I guess persuade them a, a wee bit. Ah, I was building a shrine to Melkor. As we want to do probably more than troops at the moment. I'm just thinking whether or not to actually move on Waldberg. Hmm. Because there's that army there, isn't there? I think I will do it. I'm going to move this army here. And uh, we're going to move... Actually, probably should have moved all of them out. Probably should have left two lots of Yurukai, which I will actually do now. Come on. And we'll move, what? One lot of archers out of Edoras. Put the other one back into it. I've keep, I want to probably keep a stronger garrison at Dunharrow. Because... Probably more than Edoras, actually. Just in case a Gondor army comes through here, that's probably the first place they're going to attack rather than Edoras. And just in case there's some wandering Rohan troops in and around here, I don't really want to risk it. Um, I will move these fire launchers into Saruman's army, but uh, I'm just going to wait uh, just until... Just until we were ready to move on Waldberg. Because there's no point of having them out of the city when we're not needed them at the moment. Well, they'll just cost us tax and we'll lose a lot of money. Okay, um. I thought I'd build a watchtower here. Oh well. We got one there now. Okay, everything's going as planned. I'm quite happy about it. How are we going over in the east? There's no elves floating into our territory. No. Okay then.
Hey guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter and I'll reply to absolutely everything. On there you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up, when I've posted a video, and all that good stuff. So, uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye guys.